Hello everyone, welcome back to the finale of Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. I'm Ultima Mantoid. In the last video, King DDD was defeated, the Star Rod was reunited, and placed back into the Fountain of Dreams, only to free the nightmare from within that had been devouring all of the dreams of the people of Dreamland. King DDD wasn't actually evil, and we're already down a, a point of health. But King DDD was only doing what he knew to protect the people of Dreamland and uh, of Popstar. Oh, God. So, what did he do? He made sure that the Star Rod did not awaken the Nightmare Within. So, it wasn't that he was trying to... You know... It wasn't that he was, like, wanting people to not dream. He was trying to keep the nightmare contained within the Fountain of Dreams. By the way, this is a time to fight. And also, I told you wrong about parallax scrolling. Uh, parallax scrolling, you see how the background is moving at two different speeds. Like, you have a foreground and a background. Yeah, that's parallax scrolling. Also, the reason I say this is a time fight is if you don't beat him within a certain amount of time, the ground will collide with the ceiling and crush you. But let's chase after the nightmare and finish him off once and for all. Go, Kirby, go! Only you can do it! Did I ever mention Kirby is like a child of his people? He's not even an adult, he's just a child. He's like the most destructive child you'll ever meet. And the Warp Star has been destroyed by the Nightmare. So, this is the final boss fight, and I absolutely love the music for this fight. If you can catch one of his attacks or one of his projectiles with the actual star in the Star Rod, you will be unharmed. And by physical damage with the Star Rod, you only do one point of damage to him. Hitting with an actual star does a lot of damage, though. As the fight progresses, he gains new abilities, and some of his attacks will become more lethal. And right about now is where he will be gaining a more, uh, more dangerous attacks, like this right here. Now he has two stars, it makes it a little bit harder to dodge. Oh my gosh, I actually hit that. That is probably one of his hardest vulnerability attacks to to hit. But he is immune to all damage unless he opens up his weak point. So, I guess in the words of the giant enemy crab, you got to attack its weak point, weak spot for massive damage. And that's the game, folks. And the nightmare has been defeated. By a little pink puff ball, only 8 centimeters tall, or 8 inches tall, yeah. And they blew up part of the moon. Kirby fought to find the Star Rod. But King DDD did not mean any harm. Bad dreams had invaded Dreamland. 
A nightmare came to the dream spring and tried to cause pain to the people. Hey, DDD, what's up? King DDD foiled the nightmare by hiding the star rod from him, which is what the nightmare was waiting on. DDD helped Kirby beat the nightmare, which he kind of did. Now everyone's dreams will return. Tonight, Dreamland will sleep well. Kirby's throwing arm is so damn precise, though. And this is, like, the cutest part coming up. All the little stars in the air. And he's just like, Hi! He's so cute! I love that. And that's Kirby's Adventure. It's one of the most polished games on the NES, and it's so much fun to just play through. It's not even a terribly difficult game. You don't have to get any of the secrets to beat it. I mean, they, you know, they're just fun little things to do. So, I mean, if you really wanted to... You know, just pick this game up if you wanted something that you could, you know, learn in maybe five minutes or something. This is a game to pick up. It's so simple. And it's, I mean, they're like, what can I not say about it? It's amazing. Just go play it. Just do it. Because Kirby's Adventure is friggin' badass. And Kirby is a little badass. He's hungry all the time, but he's a hungry little badass. Hungry for badassery. But the story is great. I mean, it's, you know, it's a simple little formula, but it works. And no, I could not remember the example I was wanting of break the weapon into pieces and make somebody go find them. Um, it's, I mean, it's a bright, vivid game. You know, lots of, of fantastic color use. Uh, the attention to detail, as mentioned by Zidenda, is phenomenal. And just everything about this game is pretty much spot on perfect. Even this even though this wasn't Kirby's first foray as a video game character, it was his second adventure. I think it holds up really well. But with that, that's the end of the game. I got a hundred percent. I think I showed everything off that I possibly could. Um and we did it, and I have 50 lives. And a score of 1.6 million. But that's not all, folks. If you beat the game with 100%, congratulations, you get the extra game. You get a more challenging quest. Basically, it's the same game, but you have 3 health instead of 6. Which can make some situations very difficult believe it or not oh and something to note as you go through the game if you don't beat it all in one sitting that's okay it does have a save feature and it will also tell you like it'll give you a little title the further in percentage you go so when you check it out you can play bonus games you can play the extra game and later on there's a boss rush that you get so I'm gonna do oh there it is never mind there's the boss rush I'm going to do one quick draw and see if I can actually show you what happens when you beat it. Because I am bad at quick draw. But, yeah, that's Kirby's Adventure. Oh, that was a 13. That was nice. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That was perfect. Like, I anticipated it. Got him. Got him, coach. I'm ready. Put me in. And you get three lives up. 
But if there is another video for this, it will be me doing the boss rush for the first time, because I've never been able to do it. You have to go through all eight bosses, like major bosses. Wispy Woods, Paint Roller, Heavy Mole, Meta Knight, King DDD. I've never gotten past King DDD. That was the furthest I ever made it, so I don't know if Nightmare is included. I'm assuming that he would be. I don't see why he wouldn't be. Anyways, that's it. I hope you all have enjoyed watching, and I will see you guys in the next game that I do. So everybody take care, have fun, and I'll see you all later. Yep. And yes, you can delete your save game. Anyways, like Kirby is waving, so shall I. Take care, everybody, and have a good one. Wave, you little bitch. Wave. Wave, Kirby. Do it. Okay, bye.